guys welcome back to the video welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is marissa and welcome to today's video it's just gonna be a little weekend vlog i decided to vlog our weekend currently sitting in the car right now because we brought the kids to the park my husband is at the park with the kids and i'm in the car because i'm gonna eat a breakfast sandwich i didn't have breakfast this morning i made breakfast this morning for my husband and my kids but of course mom life i was picking up cleaning and like doing other stuff so i was like i'll just eat later i got an egg cheese and sausage croissant it looks like this I'm going to show you guys a little hack that I've been doing with my iced coffees. So sometimes I really want to go out to Dutch Bros and to Starbucks and get a coffee and everything. But I just sometimes don't feel like spending the money. So what I've been doing is I've been going to Dunkin' here on post um, through the drive through And then just asking for a large cup of ice or a medium cup of ice with a straw. So I have that here. And then what I do is I just bring my cold brew with me. I also bring my um, cold foam that I make at home. So to me, it just gives me like that serotonin, I guess you could say, of like oh i have an iced coffee from dungan when really i don't i have it from home but just having it in this cup just something about getting coffee in a cup that's like from starbucks from dutch bros from dunkin from wherever i don't know if you can relate or you know what i'm talking about but yeah that's what i've been doing so i'm just gonna pour my cold brew I'm gonna pour the cold brew do you see what i'm talking about like look how pretty that looks and it looks like i went and spent seven dollars but i did it can we just take a moment i mean sometimes it is like you have to go out of your way to get it but we have a duncan with a drive through here on the base so it's like only like three minutes from our house um so yeah i've been doing that like this whole weekend like look at that like it just it just hits different when you have it in these stupid plastic cups yesterday we took the kids to the children's museum in tucson um i didn't do an intro i totally forgot about it so i'm just gonna go ahead and roll those clips here of us taking the kids to the children's museum and then i'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place I'll take you anywhere you want the children's museum was really really fun i'm so glad that we took them it was only an hour away from us which is not that far and this children's museum is way better than the one in fayetteville north carolina because when we used to live in north carolina we'd go to the one in downtown fayetteville but this one is way 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 better so if you're in the area of like fort huachuca sierra vista tucson um definitely take your kids there because it was so much fun like the kids had a blast we did leave kind of early which i felt kind of bad but we were just really hungry like, the good thing about it is if you're military you will only pay for yourself and then you get to take a kid in for free so i paid 11 dollars for myself and then santi was free and then tim paid 11 dollars, and then sophia was free um so that's the only thing i wish they would have like the age like of like four and under free because I think that's the one in Fayetteville. I think that's how they do it. I think it's like five or four and under and it's free. But anyways, either way, it's it's really fun. There's so much for you to do. There's different areas of the museum for like older kids, little kids. And it was just a lot of fun. Another thing I will say, it's not in the best area because it is in downtown Tucson. And there was a lot of homeless. And I'm not saying like, oh, homeless people. I'm just saying like, it's just really sad to see and there's just like you could tell there's a lot of poverty in that area and like you could tell there's like a lot of drug abuse in that area like you could just tell and so i would just be careful because like parking it was kind of like 
like I just didn't feel safe like I wouldn't I personally would not go without Tim to take the kids um and like the one in Fayetteville I did feel comfortable going with myself or my friend Jenny and the kids without my husband but if I were to go to Tucson I would not go to Tucson to the Children's Museum by myself without Tim <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do a little quick grocery haul because I just got back from getting groceries. So I'm gonna try to quickly go through this. We have cherry tomatoes, maruchans. I have these little crackers for the kids, oat milk, orange juice, cilantro, bananas, ice creams, toothpaste, bacon, some organic applesauce, white bread, bagels, garlic powder, uh, Myers dish soap, maple syrup, cheese sticks, better than bouillon, butter, chicken tuna, black beans. I got some hard boiled eggs that are already made so I don't have to worry about like boiling eggs and doing all that. More oat milk, chicken broth. We have a bunch of veggies here. We have mixed carrots with broccoli and cauliflower, strawberries. I have salad mix here. Um, back here I have mac and cheese for the kids, um, green beans bunch of bell peppers, chicken sausages down there, more green beans, dish soap, um, dish pods, ice creams, salad croutons, and then I have vanilla syrup, maple syrup, cheese, almond butter, whipping cream, chia seeds, flax seeds, oats, jasmine rice, 2% milk, cold brew, arroz con leche, yogurt and then the kids organic yogurt here and then in here and then in here is just a bunch of like chicken breast um and then like steaks okay, so i'm finally on my way to ulta it's a little bit later and i'm gonna go get the cleanser that i always use because i always use the murad um facial cleanser to like cleanse my face like before i do my skincare and stuff but I ran out of it and I made the mistake of using a different cleanser instead of going and repurchasing it at Ulta. I started using this one that I got from Walmart. I think I had posted it in one of like my past vlogs. Um, it's like this pink one. Supposedly it's supposed to be like a good brand from Walmart, but honestly I hated it and I think that's what made my face break out. And it didn't feel like it cleaned my skin. Like I felt like I would put it on and it felt greasy. Like it felt like I was putting like butter or like oil on my face. And I noticed that after I would use it, like I would do my skincare and I just I just felt like it was like a I honestly felt like I was putting aceite on my face, which is oil. So I didn't like it and then I started noticing that I was breaking out. So I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this. I need to go and get my Murad cleanser. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go get the cleanser. Hopefully they have it because I know sometimes they're out of stock. So I didn't even check before leaving that they have it in stock. So I'm hoping that they have it in stock. I'm happy that I'm getting this little time for myself. Even though I'm not gonna be gone for long, I'm probably only gonna be gone like an hour just because I wanna get home, clean up the kitchen, take the kids outside, and then I wanna do like skincare, take a bubble bath, hopefully. And I actually wanna put some press on nails on my nails. And then we got new curtains, so I want Tim to put those up today um, because I'm excited. I've been wanting these curtains for a really long time. Um, I saw them last year. Everybody was like posting about them. They're like the sour cream, Aruba, blackout curtains from Target, but I just never got them. And then we're getting our chairs soon for the dining room and I'm just so happy. They're not the chairs that like I originally wanted for our dining room. But you guys, we have not had dining room chairs in almost a year. We bought our dining room table that we have now. We had it made and we bought it in North Carolina. Um, and I didn't plan on not having chairs for almost a year. It just happened where we just didn't buy chairs. We were in the middle of PCSing and then we got here. And then like chairs are really expensive. And I honestly didn't even know what kind of chairs I wanted. And then I figured out what kind of chairs I wanted. And like they either are way too expensive for one or they didn't have six because for our table you need four or six but i want to do six chairs and every time i would go to purchase them they never had six like together 
um, even if I just bought them separately, like there was never six available. It was always like three available, four available, two available. Um, and then, so yeah, it just, it just never worked out to where they all had all six in stock. And then finally I was like, you know what? Like we don't even have family that visits as often. We don't ever really get visitors. So I was like, I just need to get something for now. So I got some off of Amazon. Um, they're not like the best chairs out there, but they go with like the farmhouse theme that I'm going for. And then I just need to get cushions for them. So these chairs will do until like later on I can get the chairs that I want. coffee go eat like go walk around the mall like I was just I just did so much when I was not a mom and I know that I still can do that now even though like I'm a mom of two like I know that I have the ability and I have you know my husband who watches the kids and is always telling me like go like go do something but I don't know why I just always feel so guilty like whenever I do something for myself I just always feel so guilty I don't know if it's because like because we're a military fam well no that's not true because i have friends that literally go and do things by themselves and they tell me all the time like i do this i do that but i don't know why i just feel so guilty and i think i just am so like afraid of something happening and me not being there not saying that my husband is not capable of you know like he's a great dad but i think i'm just a controlled person because even when we go home to california like they always tell me like go do something like go get a coffee like go we'll watch the kids but i think i'm just such a control person that I feel like no one is gonna take care of the kids or know what they need like I do. Like, I don't know. Like, I think I'm just very picky in the way that I parent, I guess. And so like when we do go home to California, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't, I'm like, no, I'd rather do it. Like I'd rather cook for the kids or I'd rather take care of them. Or Does that make sense? Am I crazy? I always feel guilty for going and doing this or I always feel like I need to rush. Like I need to hurry up and get home. Like okay do what I gotta do and then get home back to the kids like I just don't get it and it's funny because like I complain that I don't get time by myself and I've cried that like I need to be alone because I always feel like I'm needed like Tim needs me the kids need me like if I'm not cooking I'm cleaning if I'm not cleaning I'm doing laundry if I'm not doing laundry I'm gonna take the kids a bath if I'm not wiping butts I'm just I'm always doing something and it's like if my kids don't need me Tim needs me he needs me to cook him lunch breakfast he needs, I need to make his meals and he do his laundry he's out of underwear I gotta do laundry again like it's, I just feel like it's so much and sometimes I just feel like it's just a lot and I think especially being away from family and friends it's like which I don't honestly I don't know and and I think I've gotten used to being so far from family and friends that when we do go to California, I don't really have like that desire to like see anyone sometimes. Like sometimes I just, I I don't know, like I, I complain about being by myself and like not really having anyone around here. But then when we go back home, I just wanna come home. So hopefully this week I can go get some Christmas stuff from the dollar spot i'm really not trying to go all out but i do i did see a lot of stuff at the dollar section from target that i could definitely use um to like get in the christmas you know time but maybe i'll do that this week so anyways thanks for coming to ulta with me <music> color from Target. I got two panels so we're gonna change out the sheer ones because I don't really like the sheer. I don't even know why I put the sheer. It's like kind of like what's the point but anyways I'm gonna put these up and then I'll show you guys the after. So these are our curtains before as you can see they're very sheer like they're really see-through so I'm gonna change them out and then I'll show you guys the after. <laughs>
this is what the curtains look like after and I like them so much. I think what we're gonna do is probably just move them a little bit higher just because um, they look fine, but they are they are a little bit long and the kids like to go back there and like hide between the curtains and I feel like they're gonna like, I don't know, I feel like how, somehow the kids are gonna yank that down or like step on it or something. So yeah, we are gonna move this a little bit higher. That's why I took off these rings too because it was just like too long. So once we move that up, then I can use the little rings, but I really like how they look and I'm so happy that now we have these blackout curtains. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day and I just left my orthodontist appointment. I finally have my bottom braces, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, I got my bottom braces on today. I'm so happy because now I will see the difference in my bottom teeth. And I always feel like the bottom teeth are like the easiest to like shift as far as like when they're getting straight. And then of course, in my case, when they're getting crooked again, because as you guys know, I did not wear my retainer like I was supposed to. So. Yeah, I'm probably gonna sound a little funny in like the next couple of videos because that always happens. Like whenever I had braces before, I'd always get like a really bad list. And sometimes I would like spit and stuff. But I'm just happy I was able to get my bottom braces on today because they actually wanted me to wait until like the end of December. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I called like two weeks ago and I was like, hey, like with the holidays coming up, like is there any way that we can move my appointment up a little bit? So they were able to get me in today, which I'm really happy about because I'm like, you know, I just didn't want to wait till the end of December because I've already had my top braces on since August, I believe. So I just feel so funny like having top braces but not bottom braces. So I'm just like, no, I need both of them on, especially because we're paying for it and the payment is not cheap. So yeah, anyways, I got that done today and I'm headed to Target right now because I want to walk around and I want to see what I find at the dollar spot for Christmas decor because I think I want to just take out the tree probably today um so that way I can like see where I'm gonna put it I just need to see what I have as far as like decoration so I can see kind of like what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna go all out for Christmas because I'm on a budget I know for sure we want to put lights up outside the house and then I do want to get a wreath for the front door I want to get a new Christmas mat and then I want to get something for like by the front door whether it's like a Christmas tree or like a sign um, and that's all I want to do in the front and then inside the Christmas tree and then just a little bit of decorations here and there um, and maybe a little bit on the dining table but as far as anything else I'm not gonna do it because I have little kids like I have toddlers like my daughter sees the decoration that's why I don't really decorate my house like if you guys have seen my house and it kind of looks plain it's not because I want it to be like that it's because of my kids like any decorations I have they go and they take them down and as much as I want to be like don't do that stop doing that okay no 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 like I also know that they're little kids and they're just curious so that's why sometimes I don't even bother because I already know that they're just gonna either take them down or break something or whatever but I do want to you know decorate for the holidays so I'm gonna do what I can I'm gonna Merry Christmas, baby Rain is coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Christmas tree just because I wanted to see like what I needed and I opened the box of Christmas decor that we have and we literally don't have a lot so I'm gonna have to go to Walmart probably later this week to get um I need to get like some stuff you see how there's like little spaces like where you can see through so I need to figure out what I'm gonna put around it I think it's called garland I'm not really sure but I need to get that and then I also need to get more ornaments because most of ours are like broken or we really don't have any so yeah, I think I'm going to leave the Christmas tree here. I need to get that thing that goes around and then ornaments. But I just wanted to see what it looks like. Um, and I like it in that position. I was going to put it over there, but it's kind of like hidden over there. So I'm not going to do that. 
But yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm currently watching Falling for Christmas. And then obviously I need to decorate all this. And sorry, it's really dark in here, but it's because of our great, amazing curtains. Um, I just wanted to show you guys our Christmas tree. That's what I'm going to work with this year. And then I obviously need to decorate all of that. But I just am not really in the mood to do that today. I'm, like I said, I need to go to Walmart and get a bunch of stuff. But, but yeah, I'm going to do that probably later this week. You had me at home. Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Okay Ya nos vamos. Guys, good morning. It is the next day. I'm on my way right now to take Sofia to a checkup appointment. I believe this is her 15th month checkup. So I'm assuming they're gonna tell me, you know, her height and weight. And then they're probably also gonna say that she needs like some vaccines. So we will see if I get them for her today or if I just try to like not get them and then say I'm gonna get them at the next appointment. All right, so I'm back on base. Everything went good at Sophie's appointment. She's doing really, really good. She did need two shots, but we scheduled that for next week. Um, just cause I don't want to get them today cause she's teething really bad and I've been giving her Tylenol. I mean, I don't really know if that affects. So we just decided to do it next week. Plus my family will be here next week. So Tim's mom can watch Santi while I just go take her to get the shots and then come home. We just got delivered our chairs. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open Hi. the...